In the dim recesses of history, where tales of ancient civilizations are whispered through the corridors of time, there exists a mystery that has eluded the grasp of scholars and adventurers alike. Nestled in the heart of Egypt, beneath layers of sand and secrets, lies the enigmatic lost tomb of Cleopatra, a burial chamber untouched by the hands of modernity until now. This is not just a tale of archaeological exploration. It is a descent into the depths of mystery and suspense, where every step forward reveals a new layer of the macabre. Cleopatra VII. Thea Philopator was born in Alexandria, Egypt, in the year 69 BCE, and she ultimately ascended to the position of Pharaoh of ancient Egypt. She was a member of the Ptolemaic dynasty, which was a Greek family that controlled Egypt after Alexander the Great's conquest of the country. The translation of Cleopatra's full name, Thea Philopator, is goddess beloved of her father. Cleopatra was the queen of ancient Egypt. Early in her childhood, Cleopatra was faced with political upheaval both within her own family and in Rome, which posed a danger to her safety. She pursued a sexual relationship with Julius Caesar, while also forming a political alliance with him so that she could keep her grip on power. The union culminated in the delivery of a child, who was given the name Caesarion. Cleopatra moved to Egypt soon after the murder of Caesar in the year 44 BCE. In the political conflicts that ensued after the death of Caesar, Cleopatra allied herself with Mark Antony, who had been one of Caesar's generals. Their partnership developed into a love one as well as a political one, and they went on to have three children together. Because of Cleopatra's relationship with Antony, Octavian, later known as Augustus, another of Caesar's generals who would go on to become the first Roman emperor, had a contentious relationship with Cleopatra. The defeat of Cleopatra and Antony at the Battle of Actium in 31 BCE was the beginning of the end for both of them. Cleopatra and Antony both committed suicide rather than face the prospect of being captured and humiliated after their armies were destroyed by Octavian's navy. It is often thought that a bite from a poisonous snake, namely an asp, was what ultimately led to Cleopatra's demise in the year 30 BCE. The legacy of Cleopatra is complex and has evolved over time thanks to historical customs that frequently drew inspiration from Roman sources. She is recognized for her brilliance, political savvy, and ability to manage the turbulent political terrain of the historical period. Her legacy lives on in the minds of people today. In addition, her contacts with well-known Romans have played a role in maintaining her continuing attraction in both popular culture and historical debates. Her life and death have been the topic of many works of literature, art, and cinema, which has further cemented her position as one of the most famous individuals in ancient history. It's possible that the archaeologist's discovery of a rock-cut tunnel beneath the ancient Taposiris Magna Temple in Egypt will lead them to Cleopatra's unmarked grave. Cleopatra was the final monarch of Ptolemaic Egypt from 51 to 30 BCE, and her reign spanned from 51 to 30 BCE. The Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities made the 4,265-foot tunnel's discovery public one week ago, and referred to it as a geometric miracle. It is comparable to the Tunnel of Eupalinos, which is located on the island of Samos in Greece, and is regarded as one of the technical wonders of antiquity. The publication Ancient Origins first reported the discovery, which occurred during an excavation campaign under the direction of University of San Domingo archaeologist Kathleen Martinez. Cleopatra is most renowned for her death by suicide, which occurred shortly after her husband, the Roman commander Mark Antony, also committed suicide. It is thought that the two were laid to rest in the same grave. Cleopatra was the most powerful woman in history and the final pharaoh of ancient Egypt. She was also one of the most beautiful. Despite this, her final resting site has been shrouded in mystery over all of these years. However, as a result of the work of a well-known Latina archaeologist, we may be getting closer and closer to locating her tomb. Dr. Kathleen Martinez has dedicated it her life's work to discover the location of the tomb of Cleopatra, the mythical queen of Egypt. Dr. Martinez was born in the Dominican Republic, and she first showed an interest in archaeology when she was very young. She has become one of the most well-known archaeologists in the world because of the enthusiasm she has always had for the field and the commitment she has always shown to her job. The Dominican woman first started looking for Cleopatra's tomb in 2004 when she saw a statue of the queen at the temple of Taposiris Magna, which is located around 45 kilometer west of Alexandria. It is generally accepted that construction of the temple took place during the time of King Ptolemy II, 
who was Cleopatra's ancestor. Since then, the team under the direction of Dr. Martinez has been excavating the site in an effort to learn more details about the location of Cleopatra's tomb. Her first thought was that since Cleopatra was thought of as the embodiment of Isis, when she was looking for a location to be buried in her last days, she would have selected a temple that was devoted to the goddess as her final resting place. This was her working theory. Martinez drew a map of possible burial places in ancient Egypt, based on the descriptions provided by Strabo. His map included 21 locations that were said to be related with the myth of Isis and Osiris. After eliminating many potential temples, she found one on the outskirts of Alexandria that was the only one to fulfill all of her requirements to be the one that housed the tomb. It was the Temple of Tapasiris Magna, also known as the Great House of Osiris. This contradicted the findings of another theory, which had been created by the French explorer Frank Gaudio and the European Institute of Underwater Archaeology. According to this theory, the tomb was located in a palace in Alexandria that had been submerged in water as a result of an earthquake. Excavations on the palace began again in 1992. After more than a decade of investigation, Martinez became persuaded that Taposiris Magna, which is situated on the outskirts of Alexandria and is devoted to Osiris, the god of the dead, was a leading possibility for the Queen's burial location. Martinez made his first trip to Egypt to seek for Cleopatra's tomb almost 20 years ago. Martinez was able to get a meeting in Cairo with archaeologist Zahi Hawass, who was serving at the time as Egypt's Minister of Egypt's Antiquities Affairs. This was after sending hundreds of emails that were ignored. She was successful in persuading him to grant her two months of permission to excavate the site. Since 2004, researchers have been hard at work, but this latest discovery provides the most convincing proof to far that Martinez is heading in the right direction. Martinez said in an interview with the site Heritage Key that this is the perfect place for the tomb of Cleopatra. Even if there is just a 1% possibility that the last queen of Egypt is buried there, it is my responsibility to look for her. If we are successful in our search for the tomb, it will be the most significant find of the 21st century. Even if we do not find the tomb, we have made important findings in this area, both within the temple and outside the temple. To this day, the excavations have uncovered mummies with golden tongues and a cemetery featuring Greco-Roman-style mummies buried facing the temple. These findings lend credence to Martinez's hypothesis that the location was formerly home to a royal tomb. In addition, they found a bust that was thought to be of Cleopatra, as well as 22 coins that had her likeness. In addition to the tunnel, this most recent discovery consists of two alabaster sculptures from the Ptolemaic period, one of which looks to be a sphinx as well as pottery containers and pots. A section of the tunnel is submerged in water, which may be the result of earthquakes that occurred in the area between the years 320 and 1303 CE. There is a possibility that the Taposiris Magna was destroyed as a result of these natural calamities. If the tales from the crypts of antiquity have captivated you, don't forget to subscribe, like, and press the notification bell for more thrilling journeys into the heart of history. Until our next adventure, fellow seekers of the unknown, may the echoes of the past guide you on your own quest for knowledge.